let's talk about the solution now. So last week we talked we talked about a problem and a customer segment, right? So when we define the way we define a problem is something that people are willing to pay for that is just bothering them. It it's on their way to accomplish a goal. Once you have that goal you'll find how your solution should look so the solution is just on the link canvas when where it says solution you're gonna sketch out the top three the top features or capabilities next to the problem so if we are talking about a business that is um If we're talking about a business to help people find a date, right? Uh, it could be something like eHarmony. So what are the problems that people that use eHarmony are facing? The problems would be that they cannot find a date, that they may be unsecure, that they uh, are too busy. So you want to you wanna address all these things in some way, right? So you know when you think about eHarmony users you probably will be thinking about middle age people who are divorced or or people who just broke up of, out of a relationship and want to meet new people out of their circle of friends so they are trying this product right so then you're going to look at all the problems they have on how on why they cannot find uh, a, a couple and then you're going to start creating solutions for that so if the problem is that they are too busy, okay, doing a website where people can access it 24/7, that's a good solution. So you make it harmony, you make it, you put it on the internet, right? If the problem is that people don't want to waste their time because they're busy meeting people that aren't that do not share the same values, then you create a test where people can uh, going where you can know about your users and then you can match people. That are that have similar values and similar tastes and preferences, right? So you see how you start looking at the problem, looking at the market, and then thinking of solutions. We solutions are not technical. You are not telling me exactly how the test is going to work. You're giving me a high level overview of, of what you need, which is the test, you need the website. These things are the solution, and they somehow tie are tied together to your to your problems and your customer segments to create some sort of value, right? So when we, so we, when we are talking about the unique value proposition, we are talking about people actually understanding why they should buy your product. When we are talking about the solution, we're talking about what you have to do to, to build a product that people want to buy, right? You don't want to go into all the details, but you do want to give me a high level perspective of how your business or your product is, is going to work. Okay? Thank you.